You know, it's kind of a bittersweet feeling. It's, uh... It's finally here. Yo, what's up? Your boy Dynasty reacting to Ghostface's gameplay trailer. I feel like this is a year in the making since the day that MK1 got released and the KP2 was data mined in the game's source code and we discovered that it seemed the dude from Scream, the guy with a knife, Ghostface, would be in the KP2 somewhere down the line up until now it's just uh it's a long time coming so we'll see how this goes trailer is like three minutes long there's currently also a combat cast taking place which i'll be reacting to after this trailer so a lot to be excited about the thumbnail has an emphasis again on not one but two different ghost faces in this character's arsenal this move set i feel like ghost face is going to be a mix of kenshi with a johnny cage hype meter scream meter i've been dubbing it it seems like ghostface has like some type of scream meter because in that snippet of gameplay against johnny we have that scream horror sound effect so i'm thinking the second ghostface will be implemented by building the scream meter i could be entirely wrong i kind of hope i am i hope this is something even more in depth and cooler than i could have ever came up with so we'll see but anyways drop a like if you're excited to say what's up to ghostface and i guess it's time it's time to see what ghostface has to offer in mortal kombat 1. I feel like this is a year in the making, man. I just hope that he lives up to those expectations for all you diehard Scream fans out there. Let's go! We're coming in hot! Slicing the cameraman's throat! Anyone could be so cold-hearted. Are you really one to be throwing stones? Woo! Woo! They're both cold, man. Seeing Ghostface against Sub-Zero. My GOAT! My favorite Mortal Kombat character is going to get stabbed to death. Okay, let's see how this goes, baby. They're really building up with all these intro animations. Show me the gameplay. We get it. There's more than one. Oh, man, I'm nervous. Oh, the stance. The stance, the classic stance. Okay, so we call in the cell phone. Our boy comes out with the assist via a portal. And now we're in prone. What type of stance is this? So far, we're grounded in reality other than the portal. We just gave Sub-Zero a John Cena attitude adjustment. Is that our first throw? For some reason, we were glowing. You've got quite a scream. I will be glad to let you hear it. Oh, man. They had to do it. That's perfect. Okay. Oh, double trouble. Again, he's glowing again. So I feel like that was a command grab that we called in again. The glowing ghost face. Why did we just do a scorpion spinning flame kick? A flip from the 3D era? We have a running stab stance. Oh, my God. Did we just pull out two knives? I love I can kill you again and again. You will not succeed even once. Okay. Okay. The intro animations are perfect. Again, the attitude adjustment from Ghostface. What is going on? What is going on? These animations are amazing, though. We just threw some purple goop at Garrus. Command grab. Excuse me. An assist. An ambush assist that pops up our opponent, rather. I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? What the fuck did I just see Ghostface just turn into Melina? <laughs> There's three ghost faces on screen for the fatal blow, I swear. Did he just hit him in the dome with a frying pan? Okay, Kano fatal blow, it seems like. Stabbing with the buck knife. Your hand into two, Sub-Zero has no hand anymore. He just got his hand split into two. Fatality time! That stance is so good. Oh my God, I got so much I want to say. Oh, his throat! I'm sorry, Sub-Zero, come back! What? Oh, come on! This is bullshit! Oh, this is the setup for the couch fatality. Oh! Oh, YouTube, it's a movie! We're watching Scream! Oh, dude. I really do hope the rumor that every one of those characters gets new intro dialogue in that fatality. I shouldn't say intro dialogue, but fatality dialogue. It's a fucking buzzer. I was still taking in the fatality. Okay, so initial thoughts. 
Well, they definitely made him feel authentic, to say the least, other than the weird supernatural moves they gave him. Now, again, I don't think those are cameo assists. Uh, thankfully, there's a combat cast taking place that I could watch to explain to me why he has a Molina ball roll that turns into a grab where he ends up stabbing the opponent several times on the ground. And then he throws like purple goop at Garrus as well. Those two moves just completely removed me from what was going on. I can live with the prone knifing thing because he is a serial killer on the prowl constantly. I feel like I've done that in Dead by Daylight. I feel like he runs faster when he's, you know, crouching and going low. So it's kind of fitting in that regard, but even this, even the second ghost face coming out via the phone call um, or via this portal, like that's, that's cool. That's grounded in what the character should be. But this other weird supernatural shit, I don't understand. I also don't understand how, believe it, yeah, right there. He glows for that split second on this grab and then the other grab as well. Um, when facing off against Sindel just a few seconds after this intro kicks off right here. You see, I believe right here, I want to say he's he, yeah, you see, boom. I didn't hear that scream sound effect at all either, so I wonder if there even really is some type of, like, hype meter for scream. It seems like there is, because why else is he glowing? I don't think that's, like, your standard EX glow either. Um, it happened again right there as he went off the screen, so that is so cool. That is... One of the coolest things I think he has. Overall, I'm happy. I just have so many questions. Once we got to Garrus, that's where I think things kind of just went off the rails. Again, we're doing a John Cena attitude adjustment. I get it. I can live with the, the portal opening, but what the fuck was that? Throwing purple stuff at you. And then he does this Molina ball roll. So we have the ability to have different, you know, I guess, colored knives. Maybe some are full screen, some aren't full screen. I don't know. If it's red, it means it's a projectile. Then right before we see him stabbing on the ground, he literally does a fucking 450 splash directly into the opponent. What the fuck was this? I don't know if the most recent Scream movies took some liberties to the character's abilities, and that's just kind of like standard for Ghostface, but as far as I know, I think he's pretty grounded in reality. So yeah, that caught me off guard. That caught me off guard too. Three ghost faces, and he hits Sub-Zero in the face with a fucking frying pan. So dude, talk about a way to get the fatal blow going. I'm happy. I think they did a good job, but I need some explanations between the supernatural stuff. But let's watch it again with the audio. Pretty cassette. The intro dialogue, so good. Oh, dude, that's perfect. He just tilts his head like Michael Myers. Oh, and having the OG voice actor. You can't beat that, dude. Roger Jackson. And like I keep saying, all these animations and the intros, the stance with the knife is so good, dude. Like, that looks like Ghostface in a fucking fighting game. I think they did a good job on even, like, the stance, dude. The stance is one of the best we've seen in this game so far. Look at that. Oh, and look at the cloak as well. The robe. How the robe is animated to just kind of hang around and linger. Oh, with the movements. It just flows so nice. That's going to be so annoying, I feel like. How do you avoid every move that can be spammed? You go low. The air combos aren't that flashy either, it seems like. And I do think that second grab's a command grab. I will be glad to let you hear it. They had to do it. So yeah, I think this is a command grab. Oh, these animations are crazy. See, now his knife is purple. It was red and he goes for a projectile later in the trailer. Now it's purple. So I'm assuming the knife glowing has something to do with what moves he can actually use. Probably in the same vein as like a chameleon. Maybe the knife just randomly changes colors and you gotta kind of adjust accordingly based on the knife color. I love I can kill you again and again. You will not succeed even. <laughs> you see, 
That campiness that comes with the Scream franchise, it delivers. It's perfect for Mortal Kombat as well. But this is where they lost me. I don't know why we have supernatural abilities. Maybe when the knife is red, you get supernatural stuff. Maybe the devil in the nether realm can give you these superpowers, because how else are we doing this shit? I don't understand that, so. Because obviously when the knife is just normal steel, he's doing grounded in reality things. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I cracked the code. Maybe. So yeah. Um, if that's the case, if it's all not a meter, but a knife color? Okay. All right. The fatal blow is brutal. This is 100% something they could have given Kane at. And this fatality is so good. I really do hope the rumor, though, like I said earlier, I hope every character gets unique dialogue in the second fatality when we're watching Ghostface. What? Oh, come on. This is bullshit. But I guess how would that work? You know? How would that work? Does it just give you a random character then? You feel me? Because he's facing off against Sub-Zero when he performs a fatality. Is it just Johnny Cage or is it everybody? I hope it's the whole roster at random. Fatality. I hope it's not just Johnny. Ghostface wins. And I think it's funny because I was really hoping for a zebra. Um, we got a fucking bird. He's a buzzard. I feel like I said buzzard the first time around. A buzzard. A buzzard. A fucking buzzard. So yeah, there you go, man. The Ghostface trailer's out. Time for me to go watch this combat cast. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, do your boy a solid. Drop a like on it. Subscribe for some more MK content like this on the channel. I think they delivered. It looks like Ghostface. Intrigued to see the metal for the character. They never miss with guests, at least. Say what you will about guests being included, but I think they delivered. We'll see you next week. Next Tuesday, he's out if you have a KP2. Love you. Peace, guys.